Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple and it's time for our next Saturday with Stacy YouTube class number 307. It is so quiet up here. I'm taping this on Friday and you're gonna see it tomorrow and it's one o'clock which means it's lunchtime here at SMS and we brought in, I brought in lunch for everybody today. We went to a little a uh, mom and pop shop called Everest and they've got everything you could possibly imagine but let me tell you they have the best bacon lettuce tomato avocado sandwich I mean like your mom makes truly like your mom makes so so everybody has cleared out and they're downstairs <laughs> we brought in a ton of food for them so everybody's having a a nice friday lunch so i'm just not used to it being so quiet up here anyway we have got an amazing youtube class for you today it has arrived. I mean, really, it's here, finally. Marabou Michael and Marabou Mary were here months and months and months ago, and they showed me something that wasn't available yet, which is like, oh, oh, do you have to do that? But they did, because then I had to tell them that I wanted it. So the special sauce has arrived. Now, it's not really called special sauce, and I'm sure Marabou Michael is probably like, rolling his eyes at me right now as he watches this. Sorry, but that's what it is. It's magic, it's special sauce. And when you use it with the new Marabou products that are out right now, oh my gosh. But wait, it does more than what we're gonna use it for. I'm gonna show you a little something something extra just in case. So you're gonna want the Marabou, it's, it's Marabou Rainbow, it's an alcohol ink but we're calling it special sauce. And you're gonna want more than one bottle of it. This, I promise you, you will not stop playing with it, especially when you see all that it can do. Now I've got Marabou for you. I've got Stampendous. We are using Stampendous stamps today. I have got um, Stays On and so uh, it looks like my India ink. I, I've got just a little bit of everything for you, including a company called Graphics. Now you may never have heard of this company before, Graphics, and it's G-R-A-F-I-X. They're well known, long time company, well respected like Marabou and, Stamp and Stampendous, but more known in the fine art market. They don't like make dyes and stamps and pattern paper and things like that. They make interesting surfaces. Oh my gosh, oh. Oh, I saw them in Germany one year and I just drooled. Well, they're here too. And and when I talk about fine art, because Marabou is also kind of a fine art company, we're not talking about the talent. If you're a fine artist, then you use these products. We're talking about the quality of the product. If you're buying a fine art product, well, you're buying a product that is generally of higher quality. Doesn't matter your talent level. No, that means nothing. In fact, you'll even look better using better products. So we've got, we've got Graphics who has got this most interesting surface at a price that is smoking hot. They put together a special size just for us so I can ship it to you. Thank you, Graphics. <laughs> thank you, Haley. <laughs> and thank you, Marabou Michael and Marabou Mary. And thank you, Peggy at Stampendous. They all, all this stuff work together and, and it just plays so, so nicely together. So I've got a lot to show you, a lot to share. I've got winner, winner, chicken dinner to talk about. But first, just a quick update on Mr. SMS. We have gone for some more testing, and when I say we, we, I mean him. Obviously, he's having the testing done, and I'm sitting there biting my nails. <laughs> or I do that a lot, or I do this when I'm nervous, or I do this when I'm nervous. <laughs> I do this a lot. So he's doing the testing, and I'm sitting there waiting. We have an appointment on the 15th of this month and another appointment on the 23rd. I am hoping by the 23rd that there is a game plan in order. I'm gonna tell you, holy smokes artichokes. You get this diagnosis and you think that they're just gonna start whipping and treatment and doing and going. It turns out that it takes time. <laughs> what do you mean? I want it now. Let's get him taken care of and fixed now. But it doesn't happen that way. So just like you with it ships with and it ships from us, 
I have had to learn patience with the doctors because they, they have to do all their tests and come up with all their conclusions and then get together and they all make a game plan and then then they tell you. So we are waiting on that. But thank you so much for all of your thoughts and your prayers. I'm going to tell you we still need them. We are we, we are just at the very, very beginnings of this. So you you keep your prayers going. I will, I will say thank you for each and every one of them. And like I said, we're team strong. We're squaring our shoulders up. We're holding our head up high and we're just going to plow forward and, and, and will him to be a-okay. Now, I've got winner, winner, chicken dinner to talk about. I think I can smell the lunch wafting up here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> If my tummy grumbles, <laughs> do not hold it against me. <laughs> I'm not sure how powerful this microphone is, but if you hear a little rumble, it's because there's bacon, lettuce, tomato, avocado sandwiches downstairs, pastrami sandwiches, burgers, uh, turkey sandwiches, fried zucchini, fried mushrooms. Um, <laughs> it's a woohoo day here. Well, it's Friday, so I thought I'd bring in lunch for everybody. Okay. Today for Winner Winner Chicken Dinner, it is from YouTube 306, and that was the Stampendous with the, the, the house mouse bundle or the traditional bundle and the cards, the pre-made pre uh, Christmas cards that are ready to go. All you got to do is decorate them. Talk about fun. Okay, let's see who our winners are. Our first winner is Joanne. Joanne791. <laughs> What does 791 mean, Joanne? <laughs> 791, Joanne 791. Is that you were married July 9th? I don't know, what's 90, I suppose 1991, July 1991? Or did you, what happened? Did something happen? What does 791 stand for? Or was that the next Joanne in line? So there's a 7. 90 a 789 but okay Joanne that's you if that's your name wahoo kachoo you are a winner winner chicken dinner here but we all want to know what the 791 stands for and if it doesn't stand for anything well okay <laughs> our next winner winner chicken dinner is Diana hello Diana Diana Erickson there you go is that you Diana wahoo kachoo if that's you Okay, you know the drill. Are you ready? Pulling my sleeves up, getting ready. Okay. You're a winner. Chicken dinner. You're a winner. Chicken dinner. Wahoo. Cut you for both of you. Yay for both of you. How are you going to claim your prize? Easy peasy. Go to scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Look for the link that says winner, winner, chicken dinner and follow the directions. Send us your email to the correct email address and then we are able to confirm that you're indeed our winner and we will get your prizes out to you just as quickly as possible. I think that both of you are going to be thrilled with them, so make sure you claim them within 30 days of the original air date of this YouTube. Now, how do you get to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner here? It's so easy. Just subscribe to our channel. That's all we ask. You subscribe to our YouTube channel and then you post a comment on this YouTube. And the live chat does not count. We live chat every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. where I am online with you and we're just talking away. Sometimes the conversation turns to our pets. Sometimes the conversation turns to the weather. You just never know. Sometimes it act, there's questions that I'm able to answer for you. So if you're able to, to come live chat with us, we hope that you do. And that's 8 a.m. sunny California time, which would be 11 a.m. in New York. And if you're somewhere in between California and New York, Google. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I've got a lot to show and a lot to share. I think you're going to really enjoy this. I think you're going to love the special sauce. So if nothing else, you're going to want to have that in your cart. It is pretty rock star. And a big thanks to everybody for getting it to us. All right, are we ready to go? I'm going to tilt on down and we are going to get started for today. Bye, everybody. Down we go. There we go, tilt in and down a little bit more and give it a time to adjust and maybe zoom in just a little bit more. 
No, then I go up a little bit. Okay, are we good? How do we feel about that? All right, so let me show you the free make and take that will be going on downstairs. So we have stamped, let me bring it up a little closer just so you can see the stamped image. Hopefully it's zooming, I have no idea. But this is one of the free make and takes that we will be doing today. And then we're gonna let people choose their colors. They can do it in the pinks and the purples and the reds, or they can do it in the blues. Let me just zoom it up a little bit. Hopefully I have no idea if it's focusing. I'm hoping so, but that way you can see the stamp. Okay, so what do we have for you today? Well, we have alcohol inks by Marabou. Now, alcohol ink is not new to the market. I'm not gonna tell you that it is because it isn't. Ranger has been making alcohol inks for eons, literally eons. They have become popular again because you know, what's old is new again. Boy, my table wants to move. <laughs> what's old is new again. And they've come back into fashion because the surfaces that you use them on have changed and have evolved and have become even better. And so Marabou brought out their own line of alcohol inks. There is, oh, I don't know. I mean, these are the colors. So I want to say 20, one, two, three, four, one, two, so 22 of normal colors. Oh, there we go. And then you've got metallics and the, the rainbow color. In fact, there's the rainbow right there. And then you've got the extender. So beautiful colors and, and they do a beautiful job. And the colors are very, 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 very vibrant. So we're gonna be playing with these today with a couple different surfaces. You may already be overly familiar with alcohol ink, so you may just wanna see the rainbow, but alcohol ink is really meant for things that are non-porous. So vellum is non-porous. Photo paper has got some porosity to it, but because I'm using a high gloss photo paper, it's going to work with our alcohol inks. And then we have a new thing called craft plastic. Feels like paper, cuts like paper, die cuts like paper. It's, um, it's thicker than Yupo. It's less expensive than Yupo, but it behaves very much like a Yupo. And this is from graphics. Now we also can be uh, alcohol inking pretty little um, dominoes and I mean that's just been around for a long time there's lots of different things that you can do but alcohol inks is really meant for non porous surfaces so tiles you can make beautiful things it's kind of like a stays on it's per it's more permanent the alcohol ink it's it, it how do you say this if you were to drop it directly onto a piece of paper Oh, that's what you get. Not very attractive. They'll be very dark. It doesn't move. It dries almost instantaneously. Why? Because it's alcohol based and alcohol dries very much like that. So Copic markers are an alcohol based product. Spectrum Noir uh, has alcohol based products and that is what these are. Now, they're a little different than the Ranger. Mainly, one, you don't screw off the top, you pop it off. Two, they've added a little well in the bottom of the cap, so any residue, any extra, will go down into it as opposed to um, spilling off over to the sides, which is kind of nice. And um, and I think that they're, uh, they're about the same price. They're, they're about the same price as the Ranger product. Now, I want to start by playing with the different surfaces. So you can see the difference between a vellum, a 
photo paper and I want to tell you the photo paper that we bought was from the dollar store so we went to the dollar store and bought very 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 inexpensive photo paper this is HP and you know they sold it for a buck and so that's what we wanted to play with and then the craft plastic which is very much like a Yupo feels like paper acts like paper until you put on your alcohol ink so I think I'm going to start with the photo paper because that might be the easiest for everybody. Now, alcohol inks, like I said, been around for a long time and there's YouTubes where they take straws and they're blowing it around and you, there's a spouncer method where you can get the Tim Holtz little spouncer and go at it. I'm sort of kind of a schmusher kind of girl because I don't really care what it looks like when I'm done smooshing because I think it's all going to blend into something beautiful. But when you are using just basic photo paper, it does have to be treated a little bit differently. You need a little bit more of the extender. So this is their, is this the extender? Let me find the extender. No, no. Oh, I got another rainbow. Ooh. Oh, I like having extra rainbows. Well, somewhere in here. Oh, is this my extender? Yes, so extender. Very much um, like the blending solution from Ranger. I'm going to be honest with you, and this is where probably Marabou Michael and Marabou Mary want to close their ears right now. I'm happy to sell you this. Truly, I am. It's, I don't know, $4.99 for this bottle. Okay, today I'm only going to be using this. <laughs> this is it. This is what I'm going to be using. I'm not going to be using their extender. This is from CVS. I want to say it was a dollar ninety nine, and it's going to work perfectly. So, if you had to choose between buying this for four ninety nine or getting a bottle or two of the Rainbow, well, I can't get the Rainbow at CVS. I cannot. I can get the extender. So I just want to be really really honest <laughs> go and the way you go through this is like water so you know save your money on what you can and buy what you can't which would be the inks themselves or the stamps or the paper so I'm gonna be playing with this today now this is my photo paper from the dollar store and again it behaves a little bit differently the marabou what's nice about the marabou did I open all of them let me see if I Oh, I didn't open this one. Okay, what's nice about the Marabou is that when you get them, they are sealed, which means the top is closed. You can't accidentally spill them. They can't dry out. Nothing's going to happen to them until you puncture that top. Until you put a little hole in that top, you really, you can't use them. And to put the hole in the top, well, I'm using a push pin um, it's really whatever you want to do to be able to get down there. But I will tell you, it is pressure. You have to add some pressure. Do not hold it in your hand and do this because the minute you do that, you're pushing that air gets in and then you're going to squirt it all out. Put it flat down on your table, put that push pin in. And do you see how far in you have to go? So it's not just like a little tap you really have to push down hard and you've got to give a good pressure. So I'm going to open this one and there, you can almost hear it go pop and then pull it out. There we go. And now it is open. Now it will flow. See, now it will flow. <laughs> so when you get your marabou, Know that it's sealed for you so that you don't have to worry when you get it that it will be leaking everywhere. No, it's going to be fine. And then because they've got that little well built in, I don't know if it's going to zoom in or not, that little well is built in. All the extras are just going to kind of drop on down and drizzle on down and hopefully not make a mess of your bottle. Okay, photo paper. Photo paper, if you were to drop Marabou on it or any alcohol ink, if you haven't done anything, if it's just straight out of the box, what happens is that it kind of doesn't move so much. 
and that it leaves that, can you see that, that where the three drops in the line is? It leaves that behind and you're not going to be able to get rid of it. It dries super fast, but you're kind of stuck with that. That's where the alcohol comes in. You need something to work with the alcohol inks to make it move and blend. You need, you need that alcohol, the, the plain alcohol or the extender to add some fluidity to everything so it all moves. I'm gonna grab another sheet of photo paper. And this time I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put some alcohol right onto my photo paper and I've just put it in a mini mister. If you do that, make sure you mark that this one's alcohol and not water. So I'm going to ink, I'm going to mist up my paper. And now I've got some on there. It's going to dry pretty quickly. So now if I put, oh, do you see the difference? Oh, big difference, right? Did you see how that just kind of grew and moved and makes a huge difference when you are using alcohol on your paper. But if you don't put enough down, same thing. Now I can move this around with my finger with a spouncer. Can you see the little, the little dots where I dropped? So, and look at the color difference. This is with no alcohol and that's putting some alcohol down. So a lot of times people will go ahead and they will take some alcohol. Well, they'll take some drops. Let's put some down. What do we like? I don't know. What do we like? Decisions, decisions, decisions. Okay, let's put a little bit of this down, a couple drops. And let's put a little bit of maybe the light blue down couple drops have no idea what we're gonna get it will be a surprise and then let's take some of our alcohol and I tend to just kind of let it go so I'll pour a little bit okay that works for me so I've got some alcohol you can see it already starting to blend around and then pending on what I want to do, I can take my paper, oh, it's running, and I can just kind of swirl and have no idea what we're going to get. Okay, now I can let this dry, and as it dries, it will soften out. Or if I want, look at how much I've got left. I can throw some more ink in there. And look at how it moves. Can you see it kind of going zhoosh, the blue? And I can come back in and I can add more. And if I want to, I can take, I can go grab another piece because I don't want to waste all that. I'm going to add some real, I'm going to get some blue in here and really blue it up. Oh, now as this dries, it will dry out the little, the little bubbles will go away. You can tilt it and make it run. Oh, what do we think of that? So, two totally different backgrounds, all done on our photo paper. And you do need to let it dry. I had a lot of alcohol down there. Now, how do you clean your craft mat? Well, personally, I would just pick it all up. I really would. I know a lot of you would wipe this down. I believe in just picking it all up, even if this comes out looking yucky, because you can save this and use this. My goodness gracious, if it's down there and you're using dollar store paper, 
Well, go for it because you can be die cutting all of this out of butterflies and flowers. Why pick it all up and waste it? Now I don't have enough there to worry about. Now I'm going to pick that up. And I'm just going to wipe it right off my craft mat. Now, I did not get my, my nails done this week. Usually my nails are all pretty and sparkly, and, but it's been, it's been a little rough. <laughs> so I'm hoping to get in to get my nails done on Monday. So next week, <laughs> they'll be all pretty again. But right now we are all la natural. <laughs> okay, so out of that, I made three different backgrounds, three different colors, this one's more blue, more pink, and more purple. Now, I didn't use purple at all, but when you max the blue and the pink, that's what I got was purple. I can let these dry, which they are almost dry, and do something with them, which we will, but I want to show you on vellum, because I want to show you the three of them first before we move on, just so you have an idea. I'm going to set these over to dry. So next thing is vellum. And vellum is kind of an in-between also. It's porous, not porous, it's kind of plasticky, and it is translucent. So vellum does not like water at all. It doesn't like liquid at all. It wants to curl right away once you start putting liquid to it. I'm gonna wipe down my... The heavier the vellum, the better. My vellum from Simply um, Defined is parchment vellum, which means it's really heavy. And so it doesn't curl as much when you use it. If it does curl, what happens? Well, you just wait till it dries and then you can either spritz the backside and it'll, it'll straighten itself out or tape it down even with the curl. Once you tape it down, the curl will mend itself. So this also loves alcohol ink. And the colors, the colors can be so pretty. Now, if you put it directly on, you're gonna see it's gonna it's gonna move a little bit more than the photo paper. And see, it does not leave those little blotches where you dropped it because vellum is more. Uh, non-porous than the photo paper. So you're able to go in there and play with some of your colors. You're also able to go in there and spritz some of your alcohol or add some of your alcohol to make it move if you want it to move. I don't know what colors we've got here. Is this one open? Doesn't look like it. Let me open this one and we'll play with that color. So set it straight down, push one, two, three. Ah, there we go. You gotta give a good push. And let's drop some of this on. And that's gonna start to interact with the purple or with the blue. I can spritz some more alcohol on it if I want it to move even more. I could take a paintbrush and move it around. I can move it around with my finger. It's whatever makes your heart happy. I can literally do a pour and just watch it move. I can pour and just watch it move and let it coat and cover. Look at that. Look at that looks good. <laughs> I can pour a little more down here and maybe add some blue over here. Oh, don't unscrew. And just let it do its thing. So a little drop goes a long way. Your alcohol inks are gonna last you quite a long time because they do come out in little drops. So now if I'm happy with that, I can just let it dry. But I might take my finger and move that over there and add a little there. But if I'm happy, I can just let it dry. 
and it keeps that translucent of the vellum. Can you see my fingers behind it? So pretty. And again, lays fairly flat, even though I'm using uh, a liquid on it because the liquid is alcohol-based and I'm not submerging it. If I were to take a piece of vellum, and let's go crazy. Let me put this one over there so it can dry because I need it to dry. Let's go crazy. Let's put some of this down. And let's put some of this one down. So my biggest thing with this when I first started with it is with the Ranger, you have to unscrew it. And this one, you just go off the top. It took me a long time <laughs> to really just pop the top pop the top and a little bit of alcohol. Now I'm not going to use so much because it's um, it's less porous than the photo paper that I used. So I have more opportunity for it to move. Can you see what that looks like? Is that crazy, right? But I did. I went a little crazy with it. And chances are it's going to start to curl. Oh, but so far we're so good. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. I can go back in and I can add. I can pick up. And I think what's really important for you to know is when you go in and you press, 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 and you pick it up and it's got those lines there, you're going, oh, but I didn't want those lines. Let the alcohol do its job and it will start to pull those lines flat and it will soften out. I can go back in and add some more color. So all those lines that you see, those are going to soften out as I lay it flat. And then I can just kind of let it be. And this didn't curl so badly at all. The thicker the vellum, the better off you are. Now you may be looking at this going, um, yeah, I'm not so sure that I like those colors together. That's okay. Don't worry. We're going to stamp on this. No matter what you do, do not throw them away. Do not. <laughs> you are going to finish. <laughs> Let's pick some of this up. And no matter what I do, they're all going to be a little different. And the one that you think came out the worst, that you were least happy with, may end up being the best. And throw some green on there and just let it roll and run and do its thing. I could throw some more blue on there and mix that with the green and just let it be. And when you think that it's, ah, you've overdone it, don't worry. We're going to give it an opportunity to be beautiful. Look at how soft that looks. Can you see how soft that looks? That just looks so pretty. Makes my heart happy. All right, I'm going to let this one be just like this, I think, for now. And I'm going to let that one dry off to the side. So we have now done... Oh, see, it started to curl. There we go, there's a little curl to it. I promised you there'd be curl and I was not fibbing. I'm gonna wipe up my table. You wanna use a craft mat, some uh, a glass mat, um, anything that's non-porous, you wanna put this on so you can wipe it right on up. A self-healing mat sometimes is not non-porous, so be sure to be careful. I got a little, picked up a little bit. Okay, so now we've done it with vellum. And look at how fabulous that color is. And we've played with just regular old photo paper. But can you see the a little bit different in the, the intensity sometimes? That's the difference between a direct pour, which putting the, the ink right on top of the, the surface, versus dropping it down here and swirling. So with this, with your photo paper, it's harder to drop it right down like I did here because it will leave those little bumps. 
or those little, you'll see where you dropped it. It will do that if you're using an inexpensive photo paper, but it will look beautiful if you swirl, swirl, swirl. A vellum gives you a little more open time with the alcohol ink. It lets you play a little bit and move it a little bit so that you don't see those blotch, blotch, blotches. And that is coming out beautiful. Ooh, and it's tacky too. Hmm, I wonder if it's tacky enough to use some foil. Shall we see? Foil, are you serious? What are you talking about, Stacy? Well, the alcohol sometimes stays tacky enough for you to put down some foil. Don't know what we're gonna get, never do. Oh, yes it does, it's tacky enough. <laughs> It's a good thing to be tacky sometimes. <laughs> so I am using the foil from Ozzy Andrew. And I just wanted to add some foil accents. And where the ink had yet to finish drying, I was able to add some foil to. Okay, pretty yummy, right? That looks really good. Oh my gosh, can you do this with photo paper? You can, but it's a little harder with photo paper because it dries faster. And why does it dry faster? Because the photo paper is more porous. But I don't even, maybe these are, you think this one's still, oh, this one feels tacky too. Okay, let's see. And you just pull and it stays. Oh, it makes my heart so happy. And you just go all over it. And then you've got this alcohol inked and marbled and, oh. And those of you who already have foil, and does it have to be this foil? No, my guess is it doesn't. My thought is that you probably can use the ThermoWeb foil, or yeah, ThermoWeb foil and Ozzy Andrews foil, but now look at that. Let me see if I can put it on a piece of, oh, right? Okay, that's looking pretty rock star. Oh, right? How beautiful is that? All on vellum. And you just have to wait for this to go tacky. If it's totally dry, the foil's not gonna stick. So you gotta, you gotta give it a little time and then go with your foil. And you just never know what you're gonna get. It's gonna be different every single time. And you can use any color foil you want. I just grabbed the gold. I am in love with this piece. <laughs> I am in love with it. So we've used the vellum with the alcohol inks. We threw some foil in on top of it. We've played with the glossy paper from uh, HP, which is just an inexpensive photo paper that you can get at your dollar store. And now we're gonna move on to the craft plastic, which is very, very, very much like a Yupo. Absolutely like a Yupo. It's a little thicker than a Yupo, but it behaves in the same manner, which is nice. It's less money than Yupo. Love Yupo, but this is a little less money, which is also very nice. It is a true plastic, it is not paper, yet you can cut it, you can die cut it, it cuts easy peasy. Easy peasy, just like paper. Throw it through your die cutting machine, no problem, it's gonna die cut just fine. But it, again, behaves a little differently than the vellum and it behaves a little differently than the photo paper. This allows a lot of open time meaning that you can just play until your heart's content. I don't know what colors. You can just play until your heart's content. So you can drop right on it and it will move just beautifully. And you can spray right on it and open it up and it will also move just beautifully and it's not going to leave 
any of those little dots or drops and it moves and it gives you that open time to do whatever you want with it. You can mix, you can match, um, do a pour straight across and just let it work itself right on down. Add some alcohol if you need to, if you want it to move more and just let things move. Put some of that color in there, put some down there and just let it go. Now this is where some people take a straw to it, they take a spouncer to it. It's whatever makes your heart happy. I'm just trying to get those colors to move. And eventually if you, even though I use my finger, those colors will eventually just move over and into and soften out. So as I let it move and pour, if you wanted, you could add texture to it. You can pick the colors up. What if I did this and I said, oh no, I don't like this at all. This is not working for me. It was not what I wanted. First, I'm gonna tell you, stop, just let it be and we'll come back and it'll be beautiful. But what if you just didn't like this at all? Well, just like our mineral paper, you've got a little bit of an opportunity to get in there and clear it off. Can you use some alcohol? Yeah, you can use some alcohol if you wanted to try and get some more of it off, but you do have time to kind of take it down to nothing so that you have an opportunity to start again. and just let it do its thing. The more opportunity you give it to be what it's supposed to be, an alcohol-based product, and you move it around, and you don't try to make it into something it's not. It, it's not a dye-based product. It's supposed to have those huge, vibrant, wonderful variations in the colors. Let it be what it's supposed to be. So I can add maybe a little more green right there to fill in. And then you're saying, but I don't like that big thing. Okay, well then you can turn it around and you can smush. Now you've got a whole different look and all of those lines are going to soften out. All of those lines, are you watching it soften as I lay it flat, all of those lines are going to soften out and just blend into each other. They melt into each other. And if you wanted to go back and do it again, you can get it a little wet and you can go in and you can move it all over again and you'll have a totally different look. <laughs> As the colors blend, you're going to get completely different looks. What did I do with that other half? Here. So I'm gonna put this one off to the side and I'm going to go psh, psh, and I'm just going to dip this one right in there and pick all of this up and smush, smush, smush. So now it's almost down to one color. It's almost blended into one complete color and I can pick up to fill that space in and while I was doing that this one has softened out and those those lines from where you've picked it up have disappeared in and you've got something that's just beautiful but you got to give it give it the opportunity to be what it is which is an alcohol ink don't try to fit it into another category of like a dye based ink or a pigment based ink that's not what this is this makes beautiful things. Now, I don't know, do I have enough time? Let's see. That one might have already gone. I might have lost my tackiness. Can one ever lose their tackiness? <laughs> I don't know. It would be a shame to have lost all my tacky. <laughs> Yeah, I lost it. 
I got a little bit in there. How pretty is that? I mean, beautiful, but don't worry, we're not done yet. I'm gonna put these aside because this is just plain. And now that this is done, could I go back and add even more color? Sure. It, th this, this is going to allow you to do whatever you want to at the craft. You can go in there and you can blot it. The craft is going to give you, uh, the craft plastic is gonna give you the opportunity to play until you just don't wanna play anymore. It's going to move and it's going to melt and it's gonna blend until you just, you're just, over the top and it's exactly what you thought it was going to be or you think you took it too far and you need to take a step back <laughs> and if that's the case all right let's see do i want to throw some alcohol on here i could throw a little bit of alcohol and see what happens a little bit of alcohol and make it all move. And if I don't like those little circles in there, okay, blend them out. And my little circles are now gone. But as long as you add more product and if you add a little more alcohol to it, you're going to have the opportunity with the craft plastic to continually move it. What do we think? Are we done? Did we overdo? Is there such a thing? Can you see it, how it rolls and moves and just, and I'm not using a straw. You can, you can get in there with a straw. If you go to 7-Eleven to get a straw, make sure you buy something too. <laughs> we run into McDonald's or whatever. And as the colors are moving, they're blending into new colors. I'm just gonna cut there we go okay I'm gonna let this be now I haven't touched the special sauce at all we're gonna move into that now and I'm hoping that my camera can pick it up I want to try and really get this clean so that my camera can pick it up because special sauce dances it dances absolutely dances all right now let's let you be that's you let you be you over there and you do your thing and I'm gonna pick up some of this ink and move some of this out of my way. Put some lids back on because I'm notorious for spilling everything. Remember, these lids snap off. It comes to you completely sealed. You'll need to puncture a hole before you can get the ink and then they put a little well at the bottom for all those drips that go down. Probably a good thing I didn't get my nails done today. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the diamond. And let's see. Or it's rainbow, sorry, rainbow. I call it special sauce. Here, it's got a ball. All the metallics have a ball because they have mica put into them and you need to shake them up really, really good. Can you clog the tip? Yes, you can clog the tip. What do you need to unclog the tip? A straight pin to push down. So you wanna make sure that you shake really, really good. Now, I don't know if the camera, and maybe I can tilt down a little bit more and zoom in a little bit more so you can see. Let me try. Can you see that dancing? I don't know if you can see it dancing. Let me add some color to it. Oh, let's add pink. So I've got some pink in there. Can you see that pink? And let me add a little bit more. Now, can you see it dancing? Literally, it's like pop rocks. It's, it's shimmery and sparkly, and it's just all moving right there in front of you. It is absolutely amazing. Now, let's add some alcohol to it because I'm gonna use some photo paper to pick this up really quickly. 
Let's add a little alcohol and I don't know, let's add this green and see what we get. And let's grab a piece of photo paper real quick. Can you see it dancing? I, I'm hoping you can. I don't know. Okay, can you see it dancing on there? It's shimmery and shiny and happy. And it just makes your heart go, ooh. So let you know what I'm going to, can you see that? I'm just going to move this all around. I lost my green, but I can put some green back in. And it's got enough alcohol on it that I can kind of make it move a little bit. And if I'm not crazy, crazy about it, I can go in and kind of pick some of it up. But the special sauce is amazing. Do you see that iridescence? That's on the photo paper. It's amazing. When you see it on the craft paper, I'm gonna let this be, because I'm just gonna work it to death and I'm just gonna let it be. When you see it on the craft paper, it is even more amazing. I'm gonna cut this in half. And I'm gonna go ahead and, is this? I don't know. I'm going to put some of that right across. And then let's use this really deep one and put that right across. And I'm going to let them roll into each other. But where there isn't anything, so where there's the white space, I'm going to add some of the, can you see what the, what's happening? Can you see that sparkle and that dance as it's moving? And I'm just going to add where there's white space, some of this secret magic sauce that they have made that they call rainbow. I can put some right down in here and it makes everything move and everything dance. And if I need to fill a space, no problem. Just fill it in because it's going to soften its way out. Now I've got enough, I've got enough sparkle on here to last a lifetime. <laughs> I just think it's pretty amazing and pretty rock star. And when it dries, what you've got is this beautiful iridescence. I just don't know if my camera sees it or not. I won't know until we watch it together. I'm just going to mix it and blend it and then just let it be. Let it run, run, run all the way down if you want. Can you see it running all the way down? It is amazing. All right, I'm going to let that sit. So the di or the rainbow, I want to call it diamond because it looks more like diamond than it does rainbow to me, but the special sauce works with everything. You can take the special sauce and you can, let me clean this up real quick.
you can go um, um, color, 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 maybe just a tad of color, 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 and then special sauce, special sauce, special sauce. Just kind of shake it all the way around. It doesn't use too much. And then you can come in and you can start to move. And you never know what you're going to get. And remember, all those lines that you see, they're going to soften themselves out. And the iridescence is what stays. I could add more and go back in and pick up. And as it dries, as it softens, all those lines blend themselves out. And what you're left with is that magic, that iridescence. Can you see that? Oh, if you can't, my camera doesn't get this, I'm gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> because it is truly magical. And then as this dries, that iridescent comes up more and more and more. And then, oh, okay. Wait, 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 let me bring this one back. Oh my gosh. How's that coming along? Right? Amazing. Can you imagine this on tiles? So go to Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever you've got. If you've got a neighborhood hardware store, they probably have four by four white tiles, just white tiles. Oh my gosh. And do this for, do this for um, coasters for somebody. It is beautiful, but I still have this left. Do I want to do something with it? I can add some alcohol to it. And maybe grab a sheet of photo paper and swirl, swirl, swirl. See if I can get any of it up. It might just be too dry and oh, pretty purple. If I add a little bit of blue and my sparkle is still in there and my special sauce is in there. And what if I just went in and just grabbed some blue? Ooh. <laughs> I could do this all day long. I won't, but I could. <laughs> and you can see that iridescence coming through. And as I let this lay flat, and I can go back and pick more up if I want. As I let this lay flat, the lines will soften and everything will begin to blend into each other. All right, I'm gonna let that one be too. Now, you've made all of these beautiful backgrounds. What do you do with them? <laughs> well, that's a good question. Oh, I wonder if this one will stay tacky long enough. Let's see, hold on, let me bring that one back. Come back, come back. What if we used, I have silver. What if we used silver? You think, I, I think it's too wet right now because I've got it pretty wet. It's got to go tacky. If the worst thing I'm ever called in my life is being tacky, I'm okay with that. It still feels a little wet. Waft, 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 waft. It's got to have some tack to it. And then knowing me, I'll wait too long. Let's see. Nope, not yet. It's thinking. Let's see over here. Nope, still not tacky enough. Or did I wait too long? No, I 
I might have waited too long. Really? Really? Yeah, I think I waited too long. But you can absolutely see where there's a little bit of silver foil on there and the iridescence. That iridescence down that bottom, you see that? Oh my gosh, is that fabulous? Okay, so now you've got all of these fabulous backgrounds, but what are you going to do with them? Well, that's where lids on. That's where the Stampenda stamps come into play. And remember, I said you need to let it be what it is and you need to you need to look past what it looks like right here and look forward to what it can be when you've got them all done. Even this one, which is by no means my favorite. I mean, I definitely have some favorites out of the ones I've done today, but that one, not so much. That one looks pretty good. Put it on a piece of white paper. Fabulous. But now you want to do something with them. You can die cut with them. You can stamp with uh, stamp on them. Oh, this one's this one. <laughs> this one's pretty rock star. But this one's beautiful too. All done with the Marabou alcohol inks. That special sauce makes such a difference. Okay, so now I've got all of these to play with, and what do I want to do? Well, let's start to stamp, and let's start with some photo paper first. That is not photo paper. This one is, and this one, and this one, and that one is not. That one is, I can tell because it says HP on the back. So let's play with some, some stamps. I have got a couple stamps from Stampendous. Nice, big, beautiful background stamps. This is a non-porous material. What kind of ink do you have to use? Well, you need to use something that is permanent, not pigment-based. Remember, it's like a Sharpie marker. You want it to stay forever. So you have a couple options. You have either stays on, or you have the India Ink by Hero Hughes. Um, Archival Ink from Ranger will also work. We tend to go with these two. These are the two that we, we favor. So I can use either one and I can stamp. Just know that when you ink your stamp up with Stays On or your, your Hero Hues, the India Ink, India Ink, see where it says India Ink, is it gonna zoom? India Ink, it will stain your stamp. Now, if it's a clear stamp, you're not going to be able to get it off. If it's a red or a rubber stamp, you can use a solvent to get it off. I don't. The minute I'm done stamping with it, I wipe it down. And as long as it wipes clean, it won't transfer the ink again and again and again. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to stamp. I'm not even going to put it on a block. I'm going to ink up. And I'm going to just use my reverse stamping. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to lay it flat here. To keep your hands from getting dirty, you may want to just grab a piece of inexpensive copy paper or a piece of black or white cardstock, whatever you've got handy, because I'm going to lay this down. And then I want to give it a nice back massage, but my paper is smaller than my stamp. So if my fingers go off of it, my fingers are going to get stamped. So if you just put a piece of paper over it, then you can give yourself a nice back massage right here. Slide your paper down. Nice back massage. I'm not even going to put it on a block. And then when I peel up, okay, I want you to hear this. That is to be expected. Stays on is tacky. Oh, look at how that looks. Doesn't that look beautiful? Right? It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And then you can trim it to whatever you want it to be. But it's beautiful and so easy to do. So let's grab another one. Um, how about, oh, that one would look pretty here too, huh? I don't know. Um, let's do the clocks. 
Let's do the clocks on this one and see what the clocks look like. Although this looks very flowery, but no, let's do the clocks and see what the clocks look like on that. Oh, maybe we do the clocks on the vellum. So remember, this was not my most favorite piece of vellum either. Because I had mixed and matched and it kind of went all over. This was kind of an extra go in there and get what's left piece. Let's bring the clocks over. And this time let's use my Hero Hues. And let's ink it all up. So I always like to over ink. I don't wanna try and guess where this is gonna fall. I just as soon ink the whole thing up and then I don't have to worry about where my, uh, my paper falls. If I've got the whole thing inked, then I'm good. And again, I'm not gonna use a stamp block this time because it's such a large stamp and I wanna be able to at least kind of see where I'm dropping it. And then take my black paper just so I have something to protect my hands, although I'm very inky right now. <laughs> protect my hands from that ink if that bothers you. Can you use rubber gloves? Of course, but come on, it's crafting. Let's get inky, okay? It's all good. Wash your hair a couple times and it'll all be gone. And let's see what we get. Grab a piece of oh doesn't that look good now it will take a second for the ink to dry but the ink is also a fast drying ink but because it's on a non-porous surface what do we think looks pretty good right pretty beautiful and easy to do. And again, you can clean it up with your baby wipe or a solvent. Um, I generally will wipe it down and then I'll just let it be. Once I wipe it down, I don't care that the, the image has been stamped in black. It doesn't bother me. Can you do this with a clear stamp? Yes, yes you can, that looks really good. <laughs> I think we're gonna make a sample out of that one. Can you do it with a clear stamp? Yes, you can, let's grab a clear stamp. Oh, then there's this one too. This one's got, oh, now you can really see the special sauce coming through on that one, absolutely. Oh, and I bet you, see now that it's dry, look at that. That special sauce is amazing. Is this one dry? Now that they're dry, it's even more obvious. It's more uh, prevalent where it is. And it just adds, oh, this iridescence that's beautiful that I've never seen with an alcohol ink anywhere else. Hmm. So let's do this one and let's use a clear stamp. So for a clear stamp, because it's smaller, I will use a block. And again, this is from Stampendous. Because it's not an all over background stamp, I will use a block with it. And you will see that it is already stained black. That is because we have already used this. That black is not gonna come off. When you get it, it's gonna be completely clear. But because we used either Stazon or Hero Arts India ink, that black is permanent there. Now I'm gonna bring over my, oh, got a big block. I'm gonna bring over my block, which is a clear acrylic block. My stamp clings right to it. It clings on, it clings off, it clings on, it clings off. If it's not clinging, then you need to wash your stamp and wash your block. Maybe too much oil from your fingers has gotten on it or some embossing powder. But once you own a set of blocks, you should never need another set. I've got my gush mat. 
this just makes my heart happy. I mean, this just looks great. Oh, I've got this one too. Okay, no, I can't do everything, right? Oh, but that's got the... Okay, maybe I'll do that one too. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna ink this one up. Ink, 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 ink. And then I'm going to, which way do we want it? I'm going to stamp one, two, three, ABC. You're not doing chest compressions, but you do need good all over pressure. I'm on a gush mat. And I can ink, 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 ink. And maybe, maybe here. And I can take this and make this an all over background stamp if I want to. And good pressure and then peel and it's going to it's going to make that sound but it's okay your image is there and then maybe i just want to do a little bit of um some of the leaves over here for up here one two three a b c that works and one two three a, B, C. It's almost like a little puzzle. Okay. So now I've got a background. But I could take and use this one and ink up the whole thing. Stamp dead center. Oh, I hope I didn't smush it. One, two, three, A, B, C. And let's pull. Oh, I did. See, I went chish when I landed on it. Gosh darn it. But that's okay. You know what we'll do? We're going to cut it down. down and then we could mat it and the one that I was not so crazy about now looks a whole lot better a whole lot better but then I've got this one Ooh, what do we do with this one how about we go back to the all over I'm digging on the clocks but we'll do the floral and let's pull some stays on. So this is the one that we foiled on vellum. So I don't need my gush mat. I know some of you are saying, no, don't touch it. It's just fine. <laughs> well, I know, but it's my vellum and my vellum's relatively very, well, actually it's very inexpensive. So I can make another one. <laughs> you ready? Okay, just go for it, Stacy. Right, put a piece over the top so I can rub, rub, rub. Just go for it. Oh, I kept this very, very close up. I suppose I should zoom on back, huh? Forgot about that. Sorry, guys. Oops. Don't know what I did there, but okay. Oh, well, is it zooming? No. There we go. Okay. I got so enthralled by my, my special sauce that I forgot to zoom back. So 
pretty. I mean, it's just beautiful. This is easy to do. You can make lots and lots of these, especially when you're using the graphics because it gives you so much open time to move it to what you want it to be. Even this little piece here, let's bring back the clocks. Even that little piece there, let's take some stays on and let's go, go, go. Ink, ink, ink. It doesn't matter which ink you have, whether it be stays on or the Hero Arts India ink, or if you already own archival ink, that's okay, but it needs to be a permanent ink. That's really important. Let's lay this right across. Bring over my black piece of paper. So even little bits that you thought you might throw away, stamp them, finish them. If at that point, you want to you want to throw it away? Okay, I give you permission. But until then, oh my gosh, let it be. It can be just beautiful. And it's stamped right on the foil. It can be amazing. It's it, it's giving yourself the opportunity to play and maybe with things that you've not seen before or have been a little leery of trying because you want everything to just be so. I understand wanting everything to just be so, you know, just perfect, perfect, but then that's not homemade, that's not handmade. Then that's, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's bought at the store. Give yourself the opportunity to experience and to let it flow and to move and see what it wants to become and then take it die cut with it, make cards with it, use it as mats on your scrapbook, um, make beautiful, beautiful presents out of it. I mean, between the anything with glass, glass or metal or plastic, the alcohol inks are gonna stay on just gorgeous. I just love this piece. It's just, it, it's just beautiful. We're gonna have to do something with that. And you have an opportunity to play with different, um, different, surfaces, whether you love the alcohol inks and want to get those so you're willing to just go to the dollar store and get some craft um, or some inexpensive photo paper to play with and try on, or you love Yupo but you're not overly crazy about how much Yupo costs. I don't know. Should we try it? I don't know. It's, I, I, I don't, sometimes they're so pretty, I just don't even want to, I just want to put a sentiment on there and call it done. <laughs> sometimes they're just so pretty. I would just want to put this on a card base, throw a ribbon down, put a sentiment and call it done because people are going to look at this and they're going to say, what did you do and you don't need to tell them that it was that it was easy that it was just a bit of special sauce you don't need to tell them that at all but playing with this gives you an opportunity and because marabou michael has been overly generous with us we're going to be able to bring you all of their alcohol inks and the special sauce at a smoking hot price truly we are but i want to show you one more thing before i start going over samples what if the none of this is for you and you just said, okay, I, I just spent all of this time and I don't like any of it. It's not for me, Stacy. Sorry, not this time. Okay, I hear what you're saying. What if I took... Oh, I gotta get a paintbrush. Did I grab a pen? I hadn't grabbed a paintbrush. Oh, that's a stiff one. That's not good. Okay, that's that's good. Okay, what if I took my Tombow markers and let's grab a piece of paper. Tombow markers. Not alcohol at all. Dye ink, water-based. And I went in there and I used a little bit of water and I palette painted with these. Let's get 
some more color. And I just palette painted with some of these. Let's say I stamped an image and I wanted to go in there and paint that image. You've seen me do that. You know how easily that's done. I could stamp any one of my little flowers or whatever makes my heart happy. Go in there and just palette paint. I just wanted to get some color down, although I like my yellow. The yellow makes my heart happy. The more water I use, the lighter the color will be. I can blend my colors to make new colors. But let's just say I was palette painting. Then what if I wanted to use my special sauce? Can you see it dancing? I don't know if you can see it dancing or not. I can go right over my Tombos and my glitter will stay. You don't, and it's dry. Why is it dry? Because it's an alcohol-based product. It's dry. So if I were stamping, do I have another piece of plain old paper, Stacy? Oh, that feels like plain old paper. <laughs> if I were stamping, You would want to use a dye-based ink, so a memento, because you don't want it to move with water. So if I were stamping, and then I wanted to go in, and I wanted to color. Remember, a dye-based ink is better I could go in and color some of my flowers just by palette painting, just using the Tombow markers I already own or the Marvy. Go in there and just add some color. And then I could go back in. and add a little bit of my special sauce. To my flour. And because it is an alcohol based product, it's going to dry immediately. It's going to be dry just a couple seconds after you've put it on because that alcohol evaporates so fast. So, easy peasy, fast, amazing, stays right on your paper and it's already dry. It's kind of like the eye zinc where it dries this fast. Now the eye zinc glitter is a much chunkier glitter. You're not going to get that beautiful soft glitter look to it. A jelly roll pin will be something similar, but this allows you to actually go in and paint it. And it's not as heavy as perhaps, um, um, the glitter markers. I think the glitter markers are, are a little bit heavier, a little bit thicker in the, the consistency of the glitter. So you're not going to get quite as fine of a glitter. And, and when you're using a wink of um, Stella or a crafter's companion, they tend to be a little more silver. And this is not. So even if even if this is not your cup of tea using alcohol-based markers, I think you're still going to want the special sauce because of how versatile, or uh, alcohol ink, did I say markers? I think I might've said markers. Um, the alcohol inks from Marabou, even if that's not your cup of tea, 
I think if you are doing any kind of mark, you playing with your markers or do a palette painting, then you might find yourself wanting the special sauce. And who knew that you could take your foil and just foil away while it's still tacky. All right, I've got a ton of things to show you. It's so pretty. It's so easy. I wanted to show you another use for that special sauce. That way you don't feel that the only time you can pull it out is when you're using alcohol inks. No, no, no. All right, I have got, oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> so much fun oh my gosh okay so let's talk lids Stacy lids lids on everything okay so let's talk the products first off the marabou alcohol inks hello how fab is that right let me tilt down just a little. No, I got to tilt up. I always, you know, I go backwards. This tells you I'm not proficient in videography. Okay, so Marabou inks. Those are on tiles, little penny tiles that you can get from your, uh, from Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever tile store you've got. That's what I was talking about, inking on the tiles and then making beautiful things. So those are all the colors. This also has all the different colors. We do have an I Want It All, and your I Want It All will come with an extender. Do you need the extender? I'm not so sure, but remember, they come completely sealed. You flip the lid and you have to puncture to open it. So when you get them, there's no opportunity for them to be spilling all out of your package. Until you open them, they are sealed. I used basic alcohol to do everything today. I didn't use their extender. Forgive me, Marabou Michael, but I'd much rather have them get one of your colors, your fabulous colors, than spend the money for something that they can get elsewhere for less money. I'd rather have them get two Of the of the rainbow the special sauce I'd rather have them get two of that so we've got all the colors for you I have got amazing stamps from Stampendous I pulled a whole selection of stamps that I thought would work so well so stamps that I thought would be absolutely beautiful using it with the marabou you can see I tend to like floral. <laughs> I am who I am, but I'm totally digging the clocks. Love the fern leaves. Oh my gosh. And remember, you can use smaller stamps to do this. You don't have to have a big background. You can do lovely things with the smaller stamps and make your own backgrounds. Or just use the stamp as it is. Fabulous. Then I played with my vellum, my parchment vellum. So this is mine. You can only get it here. It's 150 GSM. That makes it about 90 pounds. That's very heavy for vellum. This is normally used for pergamano and things like that. And I did dyes that were made for pergamano. So I did the vellum to go with it. And then we have the new graphics. I highly recommend this. Truly, if you like alcohol inking and you've been using Upo, I want you to give this a try. I think you'll be really pleased with it. They've done 10 sheets and they're nine by 12. It's $9.99 and then 20% off. That is a lot and it is a true plastic and the open time you have with it is amazing and it does die cut. Amazing. We're going to be playing with more stuff from graphics. They have fabulous things. And then, like I said, there is the I Want It All bundle. So everything's open stock or you can buy it in the bundle. Now let's get to the most, the, the fun stuff, the, the fun stuff, the samples. Okay. Are we ready? Ooh, I might want to get this out of the way. Shoot. 
just turn and go. There we go. Okay, what do we think? That's using that background or a similar background to the one I did that was so intense. Don't know where I put it, but that was incredible. Oh, right here. Done the same way. Incredibly intense background with all of that special sauce glistening off of it. And then here, see, look at little pieces make the cutest cards ever. Look at how darling is that. Don't throw the little scraps away. Use them and finish. Even if you use the alcohol inks and you're not sure, make something and then decide. Look at this was embossed first with an embossing folder and then alcohol inked and the buttons were alcohol inked. Why? They're non-porous. How pretty is that? And then here we used our Hero Arts ombre ink to stamp here and this is all done with the craft uh, plastic from graphics and we added the foil to it is that not just the most gorgeous card ever who would not love to have this come their way but then look at how rich these colors are and again we used foils and we used the um the craft plastic to do this so pretty. And here on vellum, all done on vellum, using the Marabou alcohol inks, the Stampenda stamp. And remember I said, look at the small ones, done as a trilogy, smaller stamps to make a beautiful a beautiful card and yes it's got the it's got the special sauce on it you can see it but so pretty and then again on the craft plastic with the stampendous clock stamp what a great guy card that is and you may look at this before you stamp on it and go, oh yeah, that's not gonna turn out to be anything beautiful. Stamp it and then decide. Don't give up on it yet. And remember when I said you can die cut the craft plastic? Hello, so I did this background super fast. I needed a quick picture. So I did that background and then I gave it to Claire and Doris and they saw they saw the, the skyline, they saw sky and clouds and they die cut the butterflies. The butterflies are out of the craft plastic with the marabou alcohol ink on the top of it. The ferns, ferns are on vellum. So pretty. And then I think I did this one too. I'm not so sure. I made a lot of backgrounds when I was playing. And so I made them do, <laughs> the girls were like, oh, this is handy. Thank you for, for doing some of the backgrounds. They didn't have to do them. <laughs> they just had to put the cards together, which I think is 99% of the work, honestly. They had to pick the paper and the ribbon and decide what the stamp, I mean, the stamp that they were gonna use. I just made the backgrounds. Uh, they did the hard work. <laughs> Look at how pretty is this. so pretty and it's got it's foiled that's foiled over the top just when it was tacky threw the foil down and then claire brought this card to my desk i've seen this one and i just went oh oh my gosh is that fabulous this is claire doing this one and then marabou sent us some fabulousness um hello now this is using a paintbrush. So this is using a paintbrush on the craft plastic and then a piece of acetate over the top to seal it. Oh my gosh, and yes, you bet. Can you see in there, in the wings of the, of the dragonfly? That has absolutely got special sauce. It's got that rainbow alcohol ink. So Marabou did these. And again, they took the craft 
plastic, the graphics craft plastic, and they painted and stamped, and then they took a piece of acetate to cover. Oh my goodness, they're just vibrant and gorgeous. Um, hello, how amazing is that? Now we have to give these samples back, but not this week. <laughs> We may try to replicate some of these because they're just that good. It's called scrap lifting and I'm, I'm okay with that. This really gives you an idea of that special sauce. And again, this is on the, the graphics craft plastic and then a resin over the top to seal it. And then I already showed you the cute little glass tile on the back, alcohol ink on the front, put into a bezel. But look at this tile. I'm, it, it started as just an inexpensive white tile. And look at what you can do. And then finally, rainbow. I call it special sauce. All right, you guys, I'm gonna tilt up and I'm gonna tilt on back. Ooh, that's a lot of Stacy. hello. That's a lot of me, oh my gosh, even for me, it's a lot of me. <laughs> all right, so where are you gonna find all of this? Well, let me tell you, scrapbookingmadesimple.com or come visit our retail store. You may be able to find the Hero, um, Hero Arts India Inc. in your local store. You may be able to find the Stazon at your local craft store buy it there. I don't think they'll have the Marabou alcohol inks or the rainbow, the special sauce, not anytime real soon. And I know that the, the craft plastic that we have from graphics is, is not everywhere. And the sizes that we have, she did just for us. Stampendous has, we've picked some beautiful stamps for them. They're all going to be on sale. But again, if you happen to have a local store, a local craft store, go visit them and see if they have a background stamp that speaks to your heart or go through your stamps <laughs> and start pulling them out and seeing what you can do with them. I think when you start to play, your mind just takes over and, and things just start to flow and melt together. And then when you finish something with some of the product that you, or some of the, the backgrounds that you've used, or you die cut with some of the the backgrounds that you've made and you finish your card or your layout or your mixed media piece or your altered art, you're gonna be thrilled. <laughs> I promise. Okay, it's me, Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. I will see you all next week where, fingers crossed, Studio Light is back in the house. Can't wait to share that with you as well. All right, you guys, I'll see you later. Bye, everybody.